This is an antlion's den, hidden beneath a conical pit in the desert. The hunter waiting below is the antlion, a familiar creature to our longtime followers. Today's participant is an old friend, a cockroach. Many people have expressed missing seeing cockroaches, so today we put one in a glass tank to see if it gets ambushed by the antlion. Previously, the antlion has only been seen eating ants, so it's uncertain if it will prey on other insects. Let's explore this today. The cockroach crawled towards the antlion's pit, reached the edge, and then cleverly slipped away. It seems to know better than to enter an unknown sandy pit. It then moved to the left corner, trying to climb up, but seemed to be dragging something behind it, which hindered its ascent. My ant lion suddenly moved, likely sensing the nearby prey due to the cockroach's activity. Thus, the ant lion attempted its capture technique flinging sand. Although ineffectively due to the distance, the cockroach fell down after not climbing very high, struggled to turn over, and continued moving, dragging its tail again to the edge of the pit. The clever cockroach still avoided entering. Wow, it seems quite intelligent. Finally, it managed to shake off the burden on its back. While the cockroach was in the corner, the ant lion started throwing sand again. The ant lion's throwing strength is impressive, capable of flinging sand far and wide. As the cockroach moved around the corners of the box, the ant lion kept flinging sand. Is there a problem with its sensory system? Why does it act this way even when the prey is not close? As the cockroach approached, the ant lion continued to throw sand, but it seems unlikely to catch prey this way. Should we help the cockroach by placing it directly into the ant lion's pit? What do you think?